Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your next episode of our playthrough in the World's World's One Edition. Um, as you can see, we're literally picking up right where we left off in our last episode. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with our expedition. Uh, not expedition, I did it again. With our mission, um, Alone Amidst the Stars. As you can see, we now have two new primary missions, the Space Anomaly and the Atlas Path. Uh, we're going to continue on with the main one up here. Uh, you notice it gives us also some secondary missions. An exploration guide, nothing special there. That just gives you information about how you can explore stuff. Your base computer archives, if we go back to our base computer, we're going to start getting increasing uh, information about our person. And you see we have a secondary mission of installing our trade rocket. Um, it wants us to install it with the stuff that we need, that, that we have already on us. So we can do that right now. The trade rocket is installed on our exosuit. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to move some stuff around a little bit, maybe put our trade rocket over here. Uh, two wiring looms, 120 tritium, and 90 dihydrogen. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but we're going to go ahead and use it. All right. So in order to use this, uh, you'll, you'll see later on what we're, how we're going to use it and everything like that. But for now, we're ready to go. So let's go back. We've, been, we've got in that special music. We're going to go back to this and search for clues about Artemis. Let's get started. All right, so we're exiting, exiting the anomaly in the same system we were at before with this beautiful paradise planet below us. Let's get away from the anomaly just a little bit. Okay, so we're getting frequency. Uh, let's see what we're getting here. Ooh, look at this. Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside. It Something's wrong with... We're going to identify ourselves. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Say you found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID and the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They just, they look just like psst. Ask where they are or ask about the 16. Let's ask about the 16. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You psst. It lied to me. It lied to all of them. The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent, before it too fades into nothingness. And the communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Okay. Time to boost signals. It should take us somewhere. You'll notice that it's taking us there. That's our paradise planet. Oh, what we need to do is we need to do a scan. No? Okay, did it switch missions on us? Yes, it did. Okay, we need to go back to that. That happens sometimes. There we go. Okay, so we're back to the cold planet. I was hoping we go to the paradise planet. Cold is okay. Fortunately, these two are pretty close by to each other. We're not spending a lot of time in pulse drive. Uh, let's see what we got in our inventory. Alright, good, good, good. You know, we can build this, the teleport receiver now, if we wanted to, but I'm going to hold off on that. We are out of uh, wiring looms anyway. Alright, approximate location for our hollow terminus. Hollow terminuses are interesting constructs. You'll recognize them after you've seen it for the first time. Slow down. Look at the ground. Oh, there it is. Right there. And we get a landing pad as well, so we can save ourselves some launch fuel. And that is your hollow terminus. They all look the same on every planet you'll ever go to. Alright, let's go here. Let's gather some stuff. I'm going to get the rusted metal this time, because I'm going to make myself a crap ton of uh, ferrite. Another dihydrogen jelly. Uh, that. We don't need the first aid kit, but we've got another ion battery, so that's handy. Uh, these two buildings over here, let's go ahead and get inside real quick, because we'll get some nanites from them. Uh, we can build our first aid if we want. Doesn't seem to be anything else in this one. Let's check the other one real quick. Uh, there we go. Nanites. 
Okay. We can also spin some chairs around if we want. Oh, it looks like we got some carbon. Good deal. Very nice. And we should also have some buried tech, since there happens to be a damaged machinery. Let me just move aside real quick. Ah, there it is. And we can't pick it up by standing over it anymore, unfortunately, even in first-person view, right? Nope. So this one we're going to have to dig out. They changed some of the mechanics of the game so we don't have all the cheats we used to have. Okay. Always want to get more salvage data if we can. We only got two out of that one, but still. It's more than we had. Ooh, rusted metal. What do you know? And maybe an upgrade? Or just nanites? Nanites. Okay, good. Alright, so we're done here. Let's head up. Now, we could have jetpacked up there if our jetpack was in better shape, but we're going to go ahead and take the stairs today. They're not protected in any way. Now, if you jetpack while you're climbing a ladder um, and go straight up, you will not use any jetpack. You will very, very little, if you will. You watch. See? You'll just get a little bit, but be careful you don't land on the edge because you'll just climb back down again. So you want to get a little bit away from the edge if you try to do that. So watch. Like that. Okay? Alright. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. We have to repair the first one we ever get to. That's this, and it takes sodium to do that. I'll use sodium nitrate. Holoc terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication Cross long distances. The extra power should allow me to re-establish the connection to Artemis. Good Artemis frequency. I try to locate Artemis frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. And you'll see that this is going to pop out and go in. Let's take a walk over. Stand on this little pad right here. You don't have to, but stand on this pad here. And there we have Artemis, right? Who's, who's there? You. It's you again, isn't it? You really are real. Aren't you? You aren't a dream. Say you hope so. I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... Psst. It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Interesting, right? Ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Ask how they know. I already know what they mean, so ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision. A red star in a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within. The whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. Breach warning. You notice the thing on the top left. Designated, designation Traveler. So you notice that it turned red on the text message there. Red, purple. Keep an eye open on the colors. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the Travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to... Psst, to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found the signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crash ship? We're going to upload the data instead of mentioning NADA because there's strange things going on. Actually, I've never mentioned NADA. I've always uploaded the data. Let's see what happens. Who? Please, I, I have to see the data. Don't toy with me. I don't have time. Upload the data. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. You notice that they didn't recognize Nada, though. That's interesting. Keep a, keep a thought process on that. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across the system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to find my way out, and you'll get all the answers you seek. Okay, agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Okay. 
Sometimes wait around because sometimes you get another signal that comes through. All right, so we need a metal plate, a carbon nanotube. We got the sodium already. So, metal plate, carbon nanotube. Glad we got all that, uh, all right, right? Okay, so we're done here. You can go down the ladders if you want, but, you know, come on. You got a jetpack, folks. Just hit it before you hit the ground. All right, so we build the signal booster. Uh, let's hit Z, and here's our new signal booster, which we've now acquired. So we're going to select it and drop it down. Uh, let's access the signal booster, and there's our... We can locate nearby structures, or we can triangulate the position. Let's triangulate. Okay, now that you're done doing that, don't leave it behind. I used to do that in my first playthrough. I thought I had to leave it here. You can pick it up. Okay? Back in your inventory. Let's go to our radiant pillar and pick off and go to our next location. Follow the red arrow. Red icon. Looks like it's taking us to another planet entirely. That is our paradise planet. So we'll go there next. I don't think we need to do anything in here. I think we're pretty good right now. Oh, how I'd like to get a exosuit augmentation slot. That would be great. I know where we can find some, but they're going to be tough to come across, so... Alright, suitable site located. Let's continue on. We don't have to go any place in particular, I don't think. Oh, it looks like this is a building. Oh, it's a drop pod, too. Bonus! Alright. Let's take advantage of it. So as you know, we need an antimatter housing and a carbon nanotube, right? There we go. Let's go ahead and take advantage of the drop pod that we just received. Like a gift, right? Antimatter? Uh, we don't have any sodium nitrate. Ah, all right. Let's drop our portable refiner down. We can now gather sodium nitrate, by the way, just so you guys know. Uh, let's where our sodium. Sodium. We don't have a lot of sodium left, so I am going to just get twenty. All right, and if you do a quick scan. Look for, instead of the NA, look for NA+. Plus. Ah, like right there. Let's go ahead and go after that. Real quick. Um, let's get in here real quick. Just get this last upgrade. There we go. And we're going to put it down here and fill in a gap. There we go. The NA+, plus that we have up there. It's not far away. Because we have our advanced mining laser now. see it disappears, but we're looking for something that looks like condensed carbon like this, but it's yellow, like that. And now we can pick this up. Alright. Good deal. Another 73 of it. And now we can get the big condensed carbon crystals, too. That's the other thing we're allowed to get with this advanced mining beam. Very, very handy. Excellent. Okay. Got some extra materials that we've been needing. All right, let's triangulate our position. Really need an upgrade for her. Yep, see, landing too hard. Ouch. Just broke both ankles. We'll be all right, though. Okay, signal booster. Triangulate your signal. And just pick it up again. All right, next position. This one takes us to that planet, which I think is the planet we just came from. Yep, it is. Looks like we got a planet behind it and a planet to our right that we haven't been to yet. That's okay. You'd think it would have taken us to a third planet, but sometimes it takes you to three different places on the main planet that you're at. So, you know, there's that. Okay. 
Careful. Okay. There we go. Another building there. Is this an abandoned one? I think it is. No, it's not abandoned. This looks like a regular building. How interesting. Uh, this, whenever you see a dish, a very large satellite dish, this finds freighters on other planets for you. Okay, so. But we're going to gather some stuff here too while we're here. Let's get our signal triangulated. Okay. And hang on to this. These signal boosters are handy on certain planets. We'll show you that one day, but not today. Okay, get rid of the goop. Let's get some more nanites. Let's get our buried technology. Okay, good. And this should have stuff inside. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff inside the buildings. Again, if you're early game, this is a good idea to do all this. Oh, this is the nanite one. Okay. And a little bit of carbon. Okay, and then we're going to head over to the building. Oh, great. Pirates are attacking. I'm going to get inside. For now. We can fight those pirates in a little bit. None of these planters have every anything. So we're going to go ahead and grab this life form that works or or worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new systems or special phenomena in this absence it struck gold the beacon has been act been received and a transmission sequence awaits response so there's your sequence 12 12 21 21 12 12 obviously it's 21 21 discover location within the distant stars so it does a pullback i don't know why it does the pullback it looks like we only have one pirate by the way um but the signal it gives us is either in freighter that's crashed or it could be an ancient structure so there we go okay while you're here if you notice you can go in this room but this is where the atlas pass comes in see i need a v2 version 2 atlas pass and there's usually items back there you can pick up on all right we ready to fight a pirate and they can hit you while you're running across landscape keep that in mind So let's go fight a pirate, shall we? There we go. When you're behind them, you do more damage. We can use our missiles too. There we go. And you get a pirate transponder out of it. Good deal. And you get increased standing with the Gek. And look at all those units that we just got. Nice, huh? So that's something you can do if you wish. Alright, so we're going to return to space now. We are going to check out that ancient ruin at some point. Let's return to space and talk to Artemis. Wait for the transmission. Alright, when I reached, when I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger, and here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data. Let's find each other and communication. Okay, so it's going to find us a, a hollow terminus. Give it a moment. Oh, we have to hit C. Perfect. Okay, so since it's there, I'm going to head for the ancient ruin first. Ancient ruins give us the opportunity of get, getting stuff. If it's what I think it is... Emergency broadcast detected. No, nope, I'm not going to do that. Not this time. Don't feel like fighting pirates again. Okay, so we'll hit this first. Oh, okay. It's one of these ruins. How's our... Yep, our thrusters are good. Okay, you can jetpack up there, you can head this way. Now, you can get some words while you're here. 
Okay. Okay, we're all the way up. This is protected from the weather in here, so if you're having a cold place or something like that. Here's one more knowledge stone. So this, this particular structure has two knowledge stones. And then finally, this terminal here. It's going to tell us we got eight words or something like that. Ten. Okay. Okay, and... I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek Dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works in despair. So we can get more words or we can seek knowledge. I'm going to go with the knowledge. This knowledge finds us another ruin where we can dig up, uh, dig up, dig up buried treasure. And that comes in very handy. So obviously worth a lot of money. Usually millions. An early game, very good thing to go after. Plus you got achievements you can get here, folks. So go ahead and do what you have to do. All right, and you know, we haven't discovered all the animals here yet at all, so let me just take a look real quick, and it'll tell us how many. All right, so there's 10 animals on this planet. I'm sure there's some in the ocean. Oh, look, alluring specimen. You know exactly what I'm referencing. Okay, get in our ship and head out. Now, do we want to head to our treasure actually it's not very far let's head to the treasure first and we'll go real time since it's only 45 seconds away I'll go up a little higher in the atmosphere and we'll get a little bit of a faster run at it the air is thinner up here so we'll go quicker see and we're already there and I think we almost passed it. <laughs> we did pass it a little bit. Alright. Now we're using our launch thrusters to do this, so let's hope it's worth it. Alright, so first things first, we've got our train manipulator out. We have to get our keys. There's always one here. Follow this path down, go to the wider setting, and just follow the path. And there's your second one. There are other treasure chests underneath the ground here. There's also a gravitino ball. If you grab it, you're going to trigger the sentinels. Don't do that yet. And here's our third path. Follow it all the way over, and there's your third. So now you have three keys. Your treasure chest is directly below here. In front of that arch. And there it is. Use your three keys you just acquired. To open it up. And looks like we got something not worth a lot of money, unfortunately. Uh, 158000 is all it's worth, so it's not a very big treasure. And it really wasn't worth our time now. So, yeah, that's a problem. So if you'd like to get something of value, let's get some Gravitino Balls. So there's one. There's sometimes a second one right there, but that one is a little bit harder to get to. Because of its position, it's usually in, in the ground underneath a structure. See? So it's like, it's like, it's like in there and we can pick it up underneath. So do we want to take the chance of angering the sentinels? That's a good question. So I'm going to start up here. I am not going to use my bolt caster. And we're going to gather these. These are worth a lot of money. So let's go ahead and grab them. Grab the second one. And let's grab the third one. Okay, we've got all three. Now, the whole point? Run. If you're early game and you don't have the weaponry or the ammunition to fight these guys, just run away. Let them start searching. 
and start going in a circular pattern after you start running in one direction. As your run juice runs out, use your jetpack. Life support's low, so we're going to go ahead and charge it now. Got the jetpack. Boost. As you can see, they're right over there. We just got to go five more seconds. And... done. Now just head back to your ship. Very good. So, was that worth our time? Let's find out, shall we? Let's take a look at our inventory. In our ship somehow. And there's our Gravitino balls, and they're worth another 120,000. So between the two, <clears throat> we've got almost 300,000. So they were worth quite a bit. Um, let's make another life support shell, since we have it. Okay, good deal. We're all set. Let's move on with the mission. Now, I don't, I know you're not used to seeing me run away from Sentinels, but um, this early game with no ammunition and only a bolt caster, with no upgrades, be clear about that. Yeah, that's not something I'm doing. Okay, the Hollow Terminus, probably the same one we've been to. Now, let's see how skilled I am, shall we? I'm going to try something here. Yep, actually, no, we're going to land there. I was going to try to land on top of the hollow terminals. But we're getting a free landing pad I'm also using. Can we get up to that platform? I don't know if we can. Nope. This is going to hurt. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have any boosters for our jetpack at all. There we go. So we'll have to just go the old-fashioned way, unfortunately. We're up. All terminus activated, multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate communication. Yeah, we already know that. Activate. Okay. There's Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match up our star patterns. Uh, my ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you, you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. And communication. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. So we're given the Artemis translator. We need 100 copper. I need a bunch of copper because we need some more chromatic metal. So, let's take a peek from up here. Silver. Silver. Copper. 438. Copper at 404. We got two deposits right next to each other. This would be definitely worth going to. Uh, let's see. Copper. Ah, copper right there. Let's grab that one since it's so close by. There we go. Do it right. Very manipulator. Looks like a good resource here. I do that test shot real quick so I can lower the size of the aperture on the um, mining beam so I can get as much of this copper as I can. Okay, got the top of it carved down a little bit. Some folks, um, they carve through the center and then go to the sides. Some people go underneath it, carve from underneath. Um, your choice. Your choice how to do it. If you're on a very stormy planet that has a really bad storm, yes, carving down underneath the deposit and getting to it from underneath is not a bad idea at all. 
I keep hitting some spots that have silicate. So, I like to go around the edges because um, I like to carve them up and see how big a deposit it really is. We'll get a lot of silicate as we go, but we won't be able to track how much we're getting. And to leave a deposit in the center, and then we can get a full hit on that. I don't know why, it's just me. It's the OCD, if you will. There we go. leaving some deposits behind, but that's okay. Should get a lot of copper out of this one. I think we're going to get a few hundred at least. Probably about four or five hundred maybe. Maybe more. Maybe more. This looks like a pretty decent deposit. All right. more from this deposit if we're already running out of uh, manipulator uh, juice, if you will. If the charge on the manipulator keeps running out, then we've got a really good deposit here. This is going to be a lot more than I expected. We'll check our inventory in a moment. Wow, look at all that we got out of that, huh? That's clean. There, got the last one. <laughs> nice. Whoops. Oh, crud. I can't get out of this hole. Help me, I've fallen. There we go. Okay, we're good. All right. How much did we get? Let's find out. Huh? 674. That's pretty good. I'd like to get those other deposits as well. Um, where were they? There. There. Uh, not that one. Let's go with this one because it's a little closer. We're going to go to our ship real quick. I'm going to put down my refiner. And we're going to make some chromatic metal. There it is. Let's get that moving along. You do need copper, just so you know. Uh, so keeping regular raw copper in your person is a good idea. On your person is a good idea. So you suggest keeping at least some raw copper on you at some point. Take advantage of the flowers when you can, right? Ooh. That's tough. It's inside, it's under a rock. I've never seen that before. But fortunately, we have our advanced mining laser. Alright, let's see what this deposit looks like. Oh, looks good. Looks good. We could have started digging and it would have given us what we needed, but... Alright. So we're going to get as much copper out of these as we can. Um, I don't think I'm going to go crazy here with digging all this up. Um, I may go to a medium setting, because these deposits are pretty rich. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to a medium setting so we're gathering it up quicker. There we go. See how fast it's pulling it up? Large is not recommended in gathering resources unless you're really desperate only to get like about 100 out of it. But this will give us a good amount. There we go. Go to the other side so we can get this side. There we go. Got it all. Alright, if you're wondering... Eh, not bad. 500. 
All right, and the other deposit should be close by. There it is. Also under a rock. Now, if you want to get to these deposits a little bit easier, all you have to do is dig under them. See? You don't feel like gathering the resources. See? Gone. Ah, got so many plants here, it's confusing the camera. And we're going to gather up all this. This will give us about a thousand copper. All total, I believe. Not this deposit, but between the two deposits. All right. Fortunate to have so two deposits so close to each other. Interesting. We fit water. What is this, Florida? Okay. There we go. All done. Alright. How much did we end up with? Almost a thousand. Very nice. Uh, where's my ship? Common, common thing to say. Off we go. Okay, we're going to go back to our mining beam for now. Right out of everything here. Run juice and, and, and jetpack juice, as I call it. Alright, and that refiner should be done. There we go. We should have plenty of chromatic uh, metal to get by. All right. So we had to install our Artemis translator now, right? I'll put that right here for now. There it is. We have copper. That would, that's really what we needed. And our microprocessor. Okay, we're all set. Okay. So... Uh, we want to talk to some alien life forms, so we're going to calibrate this unit. Uh, C, to locate an alien outpost. Okay, good. There's one over there. How far? Nice. Why can't it do that in real time? Anytime I'm playing, it usually doesn't find it. That is the weirdest place I think I've seen in a while. There's your glitch. Look at that. It doesn't know what to make of it. I can fly underneath the building. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, occasionally the procedural generation doesn't work like it should. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, not going to stay. Let's get on with our mission. Now, this part of the mission is a little more difficult. What beautiful water down there. It's a little bit more difficult in the sense that you will have a little bit of trouble with certain peoples. Um, is this... This is not the place it's looking for, I guarantee it. Let's go over here. Probably here. Ah, there we go. Yes. Minor trading. And yeah, honestly, this is a good place to find because we can get some stuff here too while we're at it. Very nice. Nice nice look, you know. Uh, overlook here. Isn't that pretty? It's very nice. Alright. Heading in. Alright, so we need to talk to that guy. Before we do, gather up your resources like you normally do. Look for stuff on the walls you can gather. We also have a multi-tool. Let's take out the... Check it out. It's a B-class, and it happens to have a paralysis mortar on it. That's really handy. As well as a geology cannon. Um, that's interesting. We can't really use these. Geology cannons are kind of dangerous. you got to be careful with them. But the paralysis mortar is really, really handy. Um, how much does this thing cost? It doesn't cost much. So uninstalling them and keeping them on hand. Not necessarily the geology cannon, but at least the paralysis mortar is very, very handy. I am probably going to buy that. 
I'm not gonna definitely not gonna exchange it, but I'm definitely gonna buy it because I want to have those items. So go to the multi-tool. We're gonna uninstall paralysis mortar and the geology cannon. I'm thinking about just completely dis dismantling it. It's good for, as it says, rapid ground excavation for getting rid of items around it. Um, it'll put a hole in the ground as well and destroy the vegetation, give you the items from it. The problem is you don't get as much items as you would from a mining beam. And secondly, it will also, as it says, uh, damage nearby organic matter, matter, which means yourself as well. So if you're too close to one of those plasma charges, <clears throat> you'll get hurt. So I'm going to uninstall it. And that will give me a wiring loom. So we now have another wiring loom that we can use. See? Put that in our ship. I'm going to put the copper in our ship too while we're at it. We need to sell these. We don't need them. Um, and we'll sell that too. Alright, and this we're going to keep. I'm going to put it in my ship for now for safekeeping. Let's switch out our multi-tools and go back to our original. There we go. Good. Let's go to the trade terminal and sell the stuff that I just said I was going to sell. There we go. 162, so we're getting a 3% increase on that. That's good. And the Gravitino Balls, less demand, but still worth a lot of money. And Magnetic Resonator, we don't need. Uh, we kind of did need it, but we don't. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Starship Inventory. Subatomic Regulators, I'm going to go ahead and sell. We could duplicate the Daylights out of those things and get a lot of money if we want. Um, and the Nanotubes. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Nanotubes. We'll hold, hold on to the other ones. We'll duplicate them later. Uh, let's see. There's nothing really else to sell here. Hang on to these. Pirate transponders are very handy. Okay, we're good. And what can we buy? We're going to get some ferrite dust. There's not a lot, but I'll, it's good. Unstable plasma we can use now if we install the paralysis mortar. Um, they're not they're not very costly. I'm going to get about 10 of those. And put them in my inventory. Uh, let's see. Solar mirrors, the hydrogen, microprocessors, of course, starship fuel. Very expensive, though. Pyrite and chromatic metal. Okay, let's grab the chromatic metal. That's in my starship. That's handy. And the pyrite, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put in there as well. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, we're in good shape now. Uh, the gold, um, I think we have in our main inventory. I'll go ahead and grab that too. Okay, good. All right, we got some good items. All right, and as you know, this guy over here sells other stuff. We can get some upgrades if we want, but I'm more interested in what components he has. He has wiring looms. I do want to grab some. They are expensive, I know, but they're very handy, as you know, too. Uh, let's see. We could have got them from the other terminal, but that's all right. Um, you know, chambers, solar mirror. Let's see. Hmm, nothing we really need. Okay. All right, so we're done here. We'll, we'll pick up some items on the way out, too, but we need to talk to this guy and see if we can't calibrate. Let's see what happens. Friend, I, Gek, engineer. It's all we get. Request dialect. Up. Lieutenant LeGreg releases a sweet scent, teaches me a word of the language. My brain feels refreshed. As I turn to leave, Attendant LeGreg pulls at my sleeve. They must have appreciated my interest in their history as they hand me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. Oh, how nice. Oh, that was really nice. Okay, thank you. Well, oh, boy, nice people. Didn't used to be. There used to be an unholy war going on between everybody. But that's okay. Okay, so we are... And we need to locate an ancient relic. Okay, so as you know, if we hit that chart right now, um, it will take us into the pullback. So we'll do it from the ship instead. Right here. And take off. Okay, ancient artifact. What do we get? An ancient plaque, six minutes away. All right. We'll do that real quick. We are quickly coming up to the end of our episode, though. As we are aware, plaques will teach us another word, or it can show us the um, 
it could show us a place that we can visit to get another buried treasure. So I will go after the treasure for now. And we should be at... No, oh, we're okay. We do need some launch fuel. Let me go ahead and make some real quick. Uh, where are we here? Well, I just put it in my exosuit. I meant to keep it here. <laughs> there we go. We're going to hang on to these. And the gold we're going to put over there. I thought of what it was in this inventory, but it was in our other. Okay. So here's the plaque. As I touched the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by the strange stone, and their tale seems desperate to escape. All who hear our words know of our might. Those who oppose us are broken to our will. Behold the power of the Gek first spawn. Galaxies lie at our feet. We are eternal. Uh, knowledge of the past. We could have learned, learned a word, but... And actually, I think that's what I was supposed to do. I just realized that. It led me here so I could learn another word. Okay. Well, let me see if it'll let us go into it again. It won't. So that was kind of stupid. Um, let's reload. Let me just see something here. Yep, let's reload. Because that was dumb. I was supposed to learn the word. That was the whole purpose behind sending me to that stone. So we kind of wrecked our um, uh, milestone. Not milestone. Um, mission that we were on. So that was kind of dumb. So yeah, do that when you can. You you automatically get a save point when you are in um, when you exit your ship. So that's good. And eventually it'll actually kick us out of here. Hold on. Eventually, right? I don't know what's taking so long. It maybe when it went out for coffee. Okay. So here we are. I'm not going to go through the dialogue again. Alright. Help with language, Paul. My knowledge of the Gek increases. So there's our second word, right? And it's taking us to drop pods again. Let me look at our log real quick. We should bring news to Artemis of Nada, but we should but we need to just complete this real quick. Okay. The next thing we're going to get is, and it doesn't really tell you, it says learn words from a knowledge stone, but it doesn't tell you where to find those. Knowledge stones are scattered across the vicinity. Ooh, metal fingers. And they are in the shape of that. So there's a knowledge stone over here. Let's go ahead and hit that. Leave our ship here. We're about to use up the last of our launch fuel in it, so we might as well just take a run to the knowledge stone. And we are going to go after those metal fingers as well. Wow. I really need to get some upgrades. And is, is it in a rock again? Is that what's going on here? Oy. Okay. And we learned another word. Okay, so that's the calibration complete. Okay, and where are those metal fingers at? thought they were over here. I don't see them. Alright, let's head in this general direction. Because those metal fingers are very, very handy. I honestly don't remember if they were in a previous episode or not. There they are. You know what would really make this planet something awesome would be... Um, oh, we got some damaged machinery over there. I'm going to head over there. Why is this glowing? Oh, okay, because I did a scan. <laughs> gonna grab this looking for upgrades also looking for the buried technology I'm close enough to grab it nope gotta dig there we go all right and we're gonna go back to our mining beam we're gonna mine some of these metal fingers so if you've never seen these before these are made of gold and or Uranium. 
Okay, I know why life support's low, but I'm gonna wait till we get a little lower. All right. Oh, and it looks like we've got some uh, sodium nitrate in the middle of it all. Nice. I'll take that. So, uranium and gold. These are some of the more valuable materials. Uranium is just handy by itself because we create many things with uranium, and it's also used as a fuel. Takes a while to get through, but you get a good amount from it. Even though that's 136, sometimes you get a lot more from the deposit. I'm going to keep my laser going for as long as I can. See? 300 uranium. Another 300. Another 300. I'll get some more gold. Forty-five gold. Okay, so we're getting about 150 each. That's not bad. And I'm gathering all of it because this is a very, very handy deposit. Okay, is that all of it? That looks like all of it. Good. Good, good, good. So that was very, very handy. Nice. There's a lot of stuff here in the way, but that was handy to get some more dihydrogen because we could use more. I don't know why that's still highlighted the way it is. It shouldn't be. It's a glitch in the matrix here. Yeah, it's no use going using that because we're right here. All right. Well, wow, a lot of vegetation here. It's just very, very busy. All right, so we're done with all that. Let's get our life support knocked out. There we go. And we're done with that. Okay, so we are now calibrated. We should go to Nada and Polo real quick. Let's do that. Okay. And that's this. Bring news of Artemis to Nada. There's a reason why we're doing this. We keep we keep our uh, Nada and Polo up to date, and we keep referring to this every now and then. All right. Oh, good. Nice close parking space for once. And I think at this point, I don't think I still don't think you can get the Nexus missions, but oh, you can. Okay, so once you visited, you can now do your Nexus missions, and you can get <clears throat> more Quicksilver and other prizes as well. There we go. Nada saw a signal, Traveler friend. Did you contact the Artemis entity? Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have. It seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this entity, Traveler Friend, but Nada advises caution. Ask who Artemis is. Artemis Entity was, is, a Traveler Entity. One like you. Nada had made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artis, Artemis Entity, but a different... iteration. Another way for Artemis Entity to be. Or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules, and they would punish us. Okay. So... You notice it mentioned the word iteration, and we also notice we're getting a prize of 150 Quicksilver. And we got some nanites out of it as well. We do the same thing with Polo. Not a friend does not get guides lost anomalies to our home, makes them safe from the Crimson Hunter. Nada is a great friend indeed. Let's do Artemis. Perhaps Artemis' friend has forgotten us. That would be sad. Or, I will think that Artemis' friend has traveled somewhere where, when they have not met us yet. Time, space, love it. Okay, and that's it. So you'll get 150 Quicksilver every time you bring an update to Artemis. Uh, to, uh, pardon me, to Nada, about Artemis. So that gives you a start towards your Quicksilver coffers, if you will. All right, let's finish up this particular set of story. Okay, I'm gonna check our mission. Back to this one. 
And we got to scan for an alien outpost. Hopefully it'll be on the Paradise planet. Of course not. It's going to take us to another planet entirely. All right. So we're going to head over here. We need to charge our landing thrusters. We have we have uh, uranium now, so we should be in good shape there. Pulse engine, I'm going to go ahead and charge up with pyrite now. Because I'm going to keep my tritium. Uh, uranium, gold. Good. Get back in our ship where they belong. All right. Potential assistance approximate location. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do a quick scan. Oh, we got a couple buildings here. Got one there. All right. That's interesting, is it? What I think it is. Ah, we could find a crash ship with that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it. We'll look for the crash ship in our next episode. But I'm going to grab the materials at this site real fast. Okay. Excuse me. But this is not the one. Uh, there we go. I'm not going to sit in the chair. I want the nanites. Come on now. There we go. And let's go into the place here. Looks like they got a box outside. Let's pick that up. Okay. All right, let's get our mathematical equations down. All right, it's a stress beacon. Here we go. Uh, okay, so everything's doubled and then minus one. So 89 doubled minus one is 177. 177 doubled is going to be 354 minus one, 353. Okay. Stress signal detected. And it's showing us a ship. Now, see the bottom left corner? You can see where the arc, where the Atlas signal is, and there's your landing station that we need to go to. Nice uh, post there. All right, so our ship is on the other side of the planet. Okay, we'll worry about it later. Okay, so we have a few more minutes. Uh, let's get our stuff. I just turned the light off and on. That's great. Okay, so there's that. There, that's what I was trying to get. Alright. To our right. Let's do our word. Which is going to be this platform. There we go. Sometimes I have to, I have to convince it to let me land. Stuff. Must have stuff. Whoops. Okay. Well, we'll take it. I was trying to get the other one. Okay. Good deal. Got a lot of good things out of it. A couple batteries. Nice. All right. So we're going to talk to this entity here. And they're going to get upset with us. Oh, Fred. Greg. Gek trade protocols forbids transactions with beings of unknown credit history. Though the garble, through the garble of the Art Artemis translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Gek. I need to improve my reputation. Okay, so i got to improve my reputation by going to the space station, so we'll worry about that later in our next episode. Um, let's grab some of the ferrite dust. Um, launch fuel is a little bit expensive. And that's it. Okay. Oh. Do we have anything to sell? I don't think we... Oh, get, get, yeah, get rid of that. That is a contraband item. Um, you will be pulled over, if you will. You'll get in trouble. And the starship? I don't think there's anything there. We're going to duplicate that and have some fun with it later. Okay, yeah, we're done there. Okay, good. All right, so last... How many more minutes we got left? We're coming up on the end of our episode. Let's at least check out the ship before we end the episode so I don't leave you hanging on that. It's probably just going to be another shuttle again. It usually is. 
Usually when you find one uh, broken ship, you'll find one just like it. Most of them are going to be that way. Occasionally you'll get a nice one, though. This may be a fighter or something like that in a nice ship. If it turns out to be a really nice ship, then maybe I'll just go ahead and try to repair it over time. Especially if the open slots it has is comparable to what I have now. Here we go. So this will be the end of our episode right here. And it looks like it's going to turn out to be a shuttle, as I expected. But we got a chance to get an upgrade out of this. So we'll hit the ball real quick. Uh, interior of the downed craft is a patchwork of technologies, possibly scavenged from multiple ships. The portly corpse of a dead, beaked life form sprawls on the control panel. Clearly, the deceased had a penchant for the finer things in life. The cargo hold is secured by some kind of homemade security system. Like the rest of the ship, it's a mishmash, a mishmash of technologies. Deactivating it could be tricky. So we can attempt to open the cargo hold or search the pilot. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's search the pilot. Decompose grub like crustacean with an exosuit. Tech proves my reward after the exertion is having heavily heaving the bloated corpse off the controls. So did we get what I think we did? No, just under water protection. That's it. All right, that's not bad. It, it could come in handy for later on, but I was hoping for something else. I was hoping for an upgrade. Okay, good deal. A different type of upgrade. Okay, we'll get through all the canisters real quick. As usual, right? Should have a lot of that rusted metal, though. Okay, got some oxygen. Good. And here's the ship. It is a B-class. It also has a shield on it. That is uh, definitely something we can use. We haven't sold the other ship that we have acquired. So we'll go ahead and get that. So I'll compare. Claim. We need to make a plate and a hermetic seal and fix that one piece. It is now fixed and we're going to uninstall this. Nice wiring loom, some more sodium and some more chromatic metal. Very nice, very nice. That by itself was just making it worth our while. Okay, in and out of our ship. Save point. Adjust your inventory real quick. Uh... I'll hang on to it. It's not worth a lot, but it could come in handy if I'm doing a lot of ocean searches. Okay, good. And that could be sold later on or held on to. So if we look at our... See, we got a potential 800 ferrite right here. If we look at our starship, we're getting kind of full on inventory. We're going to have to make a trip back at some point. Um, and you notice we have we still have our portable refiners. We still have multiples of those. Um, so I'm going to be using them to duplicate some of these augmentation things. I'm looking for an exosuit augmentation. So once we find one of those, we'll be doing a lot more with it. But that should take it for this particular episode, folks. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.